So I primarily play 5e5. I play Pro-Am and I play Rec. But it's been getting a little boring lately. You see, this guy's flying in the stands. Now, pro tip for you guys, it's kind of hard to guard someone when you're out of bounds, when you're in the stands, right? What a goofball. So I decided that I wanted to play 1v1. You know, I'm a semi-pro player, you know. Wanted to see what kind of a win streak I could cook up. Now, you guys think I'm kidding about only playing fives. I'm a level 40, right? But I've only played 12 games, you see. So guys, if you guys can do a little math, I've got a 66.7 win percentage and I've got 12 games played. That means I've won eight games and lost four. So I decided that I might test my luck. You see, how many games can a semi-pro player win in a row in the 1v1? I'm going to play 2K until I lose a game. So with that being said, let's see what I can do. So this first guy I'm playing, he's playing in a suit and dress pants. Now, I don't know about you, but I get awful sweaty playing virtual basketball, right? My eyes are dilated. I'm foaming out of the mouth. Grr, you know, I want to win the game, right? I'm dialed in. My pits are sweaty, right? I'm sweating everywhere. I have to win my virtual currency, right? I have to win the basketball game. So I don't know what this guy's doing playing in the suit and pants. You can't win the virtual basketball game like that. And he must have not seen my stats, my red mohawk. Obviously, I'm a shooter. I'm in my muscle shirt, right? Drinking tons of milk. You have to guard me. So right here, he decides to guard me, right? But I don't care. I shoot the ball right in his face. It goes in. I'm clearly cheating. By the way, guys, if you guys think I'm cheating, I've got about 10 live streams up of me playing with a hand cam. I green a red percent. I show the camera there on my live streams. Come pop out. So uh, you guys see I won my game. Now we've got 13 games played. And the win percentage goes up. So on to game number two, right? Look at me. Ah, I gotta stretch out the loins, right? Get a nice deep stretch. Stretch it out, right? If you guys don't know what a loin is, then I don't know what to tell you, right? Obviously. Everyone knows what that is, but you see me ripping him. Give me those. By the way, if you guys are new to the channel, hi, my name is Marauder. I'm a semi-pro player. What I mean by that is I'm not in the league, but could potentially be in the league in the future. Probably not, because, you know, college and YouTube and stuff. But beating up uh, tons of pro players, being the likes of Joe Nose, La Monster, tons of good players. So, um, if you want, you know, good content, how to get better, if you think I'm funny, if you think I'm adorable, then hit that subscribe button, or don't, you know, whatever floats your boat. But you see right here, this game's not very close, I get a rebound, and I just pull up from three, and we're 2-0 already, going into the third game. Let's break it down, we're stretching out again. Ah, stretch it out to the left, to the right, yep, warm it up, warm it up, here we go. Now I feel the need to talk about this, you see, dribble, 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 you're not going anywhere, right? See, my style of play, right? I don't over dribble, you see, the reason I made this video is because a bunch of people said, Marauder, you need a screen to score, well... To score in 5v5 pro -M as a point guard is probably the hardest thing you can do on this game. You need a screen, you need a screen. Okay, well, I think the guys guarding guys like Steph Curry, right? You know, if they just complain about Steph using a screen, right? If you go, Trey Young, Steph, stop using screens. I'm sure they'll stop using screens, right? Because that makes sense. You know, quite frankly, guys, if I was blindfolded, playing with one hand, playing the ukulele, and teaching myself how to speak Russian, people would still call me bad because that's all people do on this game is complain, right? You see right here, you're spamming, you're spamming. Yeah, let me just tell the guy with 99 steel, just violating the square button, against me with his 99 steel and his 300 pound lockdown. Maybe if I just complain enough that he'll stop doing that. I think people complain too much and that's why people lose, you know, just get better, right? You see, I'm not over dribbling right here. I hit him with the behind the back, the behind the back again. I score, right? Right here, I don't do any dribble moves. I just hit a nice little mid range. You see this guy. If you dress like this, this guy's probably 68 now. No offense to anyone who dresses their my player like this. But this guy's probably, you know, 55, you know. It's whatever. He just wants to play the game. He doesn't want to play this sweaty kid who spends all day working on his 2K stats, right? But, you know, 
Someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it. So I catch the ball. I shoot it right in his face. Oh, you're cheesing, Marauder. Please give me a break. So right here, I hit him with the behind the back. I hit him with the behind the back again. And that was a close one, y'all. It was 22 to 20. But so far, we are 4 and oh. Ah, I'm gonna stretch out that rotator cup. My guy must be sore from hitting the gym. That's why we're showing off the guns, man. That's why I've got my, like, tiger skin muscle shirt or something like that. True story. My guy actually wrestled a tiger and killed him, and now is wearing his pelt. Now, you don't believe me, but look at my guy. I've got a red mohawk, and I've got, like, puppy face paint on. I mean, quite frankly, I mean, my guy looks like a guy that would kill a tiger, but he can also hoop, right? So right now, I'm down 9 to 12. Now it's 12 to 12, but you wouldn't want to meet this guy in an alley, right? You see my guy. He looks kind of freaky, right? So I hit him with the triple behind the back. We hit him with the behind the back. Hold on. The behind the back again. Behind the back. Behind the back. Hold on, hold on. Behind the back. Behind the back. Behind the back. And we knock it down. So if you guys have ever what a semi-pro player looks like and just what good ball looks like in general, look no further than right here. Now, I've won about $1,000 playing the game this year, guys. You know, won a couple MVPs in some Pro-Am Leagues. Take a look at this. So, I pass open the wide open layup, right? I take a wide open layup. I miss, right? I come back around. I hit him with the loop-de-loop -loop and twirl, if you know what that's from. And I get the layup right here. It's 20 to 19. I know he doesn't want to give up a layup. So, I shoot the three. Obviously, I played 12 games. Now, I'm at 17. Won five games, so now we've got a 76.5 win percentage. I walked into the 3v3 like an idiot. Complete idiot. I'm playing with randoms. I'm playing with these guys. The OS clan, the OSS clan. Shout out to these guys. These guys started giving me the ball after they couldn't score the ball. You know, we got ourselves in a little bit of a jiffy because these guys wanted to shoot one for four and two for five at the beginning of the game. But that's okay, you know. Not everyone can make everything. This is twos, ones, and twos scoring. I know it's kind of weird. But yeah, I completely buffed up and walked into the wrong thing. So now it's 14 to 13, and I knocked out a three to secure the win. So we are now officially six and oh. Have not lost a game yet, and I've been playing for a while now. Now it's been about an hour, and you see right here, I look up to make sure I walk into the right place. Little double take. And then we walk in, so we're trying to keep the journey alive, man. Don't want to be an idiot and walk in the wrong place again, you know. Because that was pretty stupid. So right here, I knocked out a nice little mid-range. You know, I'm playing a guy with blue hair, you know, and I have the red hair. You know, you guys, the OGs know I used to rock the blue mohawk, but, you know, um, had to make the transition. You know, no over-dribbling here, but guys... I want to say something. Let me show you guys a little secret. You guys know why I make all these reds, why I never miss. Ignore the 50%, right? If you guys are ever shooting bad, I challenge you, instead of changing your jump shot, instead of changing your release timing, just change how your player looks. Me, personally, whenever I shoot bad, I'll change the color of my mohawk. I'll take the mohawk off. I'll change my skin color. Like, little visually... That makes the biggest difference for me because I've been playing with this same jump shot for four or five months now and I've been shooting just fine. So just when I shoot bad one game, I don't change my jump shot. I just change my hair color. I change my, um, I don't know, I change my haircut, the skin color of my guy. And then next game, I'll probably shoot better. So right there, I knocked out a nice little midi. You see me playing some good defense right here. Just let him go, because I want this game to be over. You see, he can't guard me. Right here, I just catch the ball and I shoot. So the game is over. We are 7-0 now. And that's coming from a fives player who doesn't really play once. So this next game, I'm playing a furry. Now, if you guys don't know what a furry is, good. You see this guy is dressed up like a gorilla. You can't see very well when you have all that fur in your eyes. What a freak. So I get him to jump, 
and then I knocked down a nice little three right here. I hit him with the loop-de-loop, -loop, the best move in the game. And I knocked down a mini right here. The furry is lost. He's in Uzbekistan. And I knocked down a nice little three. You guys see the best move in the game. The Jamal Murray. This isn't the best move in the game. If you guys want to know the best move in the game, it's the fat stop. And I've got a video on that. So go check that out if you want to get better at the virtual basketball game. But right here, I knocked down a nice little mid-range. The gorilla, the monkey, he cannot guard me, right? You see right here, I try to hit him with... I try to get him to jump again, he doesn't jump, and then I just left stick all the way around the court, and I score. If you guys haven't watched the NBA 2K League, guys literally play like this. They they don't dribble. If I stand still in front of a good player, they're going to rip me just like I rip them. Watch this. Watch what I do to this guy, right? Watch what I do to a guy later when he just dribbles in front of me. I'm going to rip you. Look at me hit the stretch. Ah! Ah, gotta stretch out the loins, man. Gotta st stretch out the groin. Yep. Get the rotator cuff going. And right here, I'm guarding. Um, there's a 6'2 guy on me. And my guy's 6'6. Six, six. My guy's huge, right? You can't guard me if I've got a little mouse on me. So I just shoot over him right here. He does this spin jumper thing. I don't know what was going on in that. The audio is kind of funny. He was talking with his mom. He was like, Mom, can you bring me some juice? And I was like, that's tough, buddy. You're getting fried by a guy. You're not getting any juice either, man. So right here, I knocked down another three. And it's 12 to 15. I hit him with the behind the back. He's too small. Even if he jumped at me, I'm still making that shot. Right here, I knocked down another three. He's getting no juice. He's just getting a butt whooping. And that is 21 to 5. So we are now 9 and oh, We've come a long way. Have not lost the game yet. But you guys see there's only three minutes left in the video. And this is why you see him. He's doing my stretch. So I became enraged. You see, I was dialed in. I crushed two packs of Skittles, snorted a pixie stick, and I was wired to go. You see, I knocked down a three. This is no cuts. This is straight annihilation because he did my sacred pregame ritual. You know how LeBron throws the baby powder up in the game? You, you know what I do before the game? Stretch. Stretch. So you see, I rip him. That's what happens when you dribble in front of me. That's why I don't dribble in front of people. That's why I say don't dribble. That's why I say shoot the first shot every time. Right here, he shoots a hop jumper. I don't know who he thinks he is. He thinks he's... I don't know. Who does hop jumpers in the NBA? I don't even know. 9-0. We are not messing around. How dare you insult me? Imagine if someone did the baby powder toss in front of LeBron. Do you know the outrage that would happen? Right here, you're dribbling in front of me again. Green! You can't guard me. You see, he's got a green beard, green long... Like, I don't even know what that haircut's called. He's got a pink sweatshirt. I am not having him. Give me the ball again! I am angry. I'm outraged. My eyes are dilated. I am enraged. 15 to 0. We're not done yet. Check up the ball. He's cold. I'm hot. And he gets a dunk. So we give up the shutout. But that's okay. 15 to 2. No cuts. Just. This is brutal. Just a massacre. Absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. I was ticked. If you guys have made it to this point in the video. Just be honest, you enjoyed the video. I would really appreciate a like, a comment, sub. If you think I'm funny, if you think I'm good at the game, I think you guys can learn a lot from me. With that being said, that's the end of the video. Here are the stats. We have played 10 games, have not lost a game. You guys can do the math yourself. And that is the end of the video. We are going to do a part two of this. Obviously, I'm recording, so I did lose. But, you know, 10 games, that would have been a super long video. Decided to break it up into it makes it easier to edit. Uh, with that being said, guys, I would really appreciate it if you guys could throw up me a sub, a like, a comment, if you if you appreciate it. It really makes my day. I've been working hard on YouTube, and I think I've been a better person. Look, my bed's made. You know, I never make my bed. Go go check my other videos. I don't make my bed. So that, you can tell I'm motivated, right? It's a Monday. It's snowing outside. And, you know, we're on the grind start, man. So, um, I don't know if that's a word. You know, maybe I just said something stupid. But anyways, I'm rambling. Thank you guys so much for the love. I really appreciate it. We're at 
so close to 5K. I would really, really appreciate it. With that being said, I will catch you guys later. Peace out.